Hey YouTube, it's been a while since I made a video. I am trying to get back into doing the videos again. I am going to do more reviews. I am probably going to redo some of the older reviews, make them look a little bit better, and I'm also thinking of making a new channel. So, having said that, the purpose of this video is to review my 300 blackout case trimmer. Now for those that don't know, a 300 back blackout round is based off of the 556 or 223 round. And it's a simple process of cutting part of the case off and then using the dies to resize the case to accept a 30 caliber round instead of the standard .224 or as more commonly known as the 223 or the NATO 556. Here's my jig that goes in my uh, cutoff saw. I just got it in the mail today. Hadn't opened it yet. It's still sealed up. And let's tear into it. Okay. Yeah, always cut away from yourself. Yes, I know. And yes, I know. Should have a sharper knife. Terrible. I can hear you screaming too. Scream now. Let's see. Okay, I'll put that down. Okay. Let's see. Nothing else. That's it. Throw that to the side. Okay, now here's the jig. And for anyone interested, I got this off of eBay. I think it was twenty-five, might have been thirty bucks. A couple of dollars for shipping. Wasn't too bad. Alright, now for that. You get an aluminum milled jig. And you set this up in, you get a little chop saw correction. You can get a chop saw from Harbor Freight. That's one of the cheapest places to get it. There's probably half a dozen different places you can get one from. Anyway, uh, that chop saw works really good. I recommend getting the warranty because uh, just out of just sheer volume, the amount of case trimming cases that I've already made, uh, you're going to kill it. You're going to kill it pretty quick. And nice... Uh, of Harbor Freight to offer a warranty. I'm still trying to get into this because uh, the makers of this jig, SquirrelDaddy.com, uh, provided guards for this. And there is a YouTube video, a very short YouTube video demonstrating how to use it but not really going into any kind of detail and it was posted about two weeks ago so now I'm gonna guess since there aren't really any instructions I'm gonna guess that this little notch here and this little notch here is how you put it together so
something like that. <laughs> well, okay. Ah, fell off. So the end result is this piece on the back. And then this piece. And this is what you see in the video. Well, you don't see that in the video. But anyway. Um, anyway, this is what you see in the video. And this is just sort of a familiar, uh, familiar, familiarization. I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to say that one. It's kind of a familiarization video. Um, I'm going to do another video with it actually on my saw and making the brass cutting down the brass I'm probably going to use it once or twice so it's not going to be like the box you know like the you know op bag opening and that way if there's any kinks quirks mishaps I can iron that out before I do the video what I'm probably going to do since these fit loose I don't really want to super glue them in but I may add material, either a business card, you know, naturally cutting it out. But we actually get that on the video. Since these don't fit tight in the jig, I may work with them a little bit, either. Put a dab of super glue and sand it down, or, or put something, just do something to make this fit a little bit more. And both of them, you can see that they fell off again. But both of them are loose, like that. So I'm going to kind of tinker around with it a little bit and see. No, oh, both of them fell off. I'm going to tinker around with it a little bit and see what we come up with. All right. Well, thanks for watching.